The first Teen Beach movie was one of the most uncomfortable experiences I've ever had. Best movie ever made. Best movie ever made. Best movie ever made. <laughs> yeah, right. So it makes sense that I would want to watch the sequel, right? Right? Teen Beach Movie 2 was better than the first movie. I appreciated the approach at taking Brady and Max's relationship to the next level, and I appreciated how they resolved their conflict at the end. We got to know Brady and Mac more in this movie. We even got to see Brady's mom, which was one of my problems with the first movie. I also like Layla and Tanner in this movie. I particularly like how they handled Tanner's character. They actually made me like them. They gave Tanner and Layla relatable struggles, which humanized them more. They are still cheesy characters, but it feels m more like the movie is making fun of the cheesiness than actually expecting us to go along with it like in the first movie. The movie is also a little bit more aware of how dumb their concept is. Great that they're here. You know, it's a little weird and kind of impossible, but <laughs> I did miss them. There's still a crap lot of teenagers taking over the movie, but at least this time is excusable, given that a big part of the movie takes place in high school. Needless to say, that doesn't mean the movie is immune to mediocrity. The movie carries some of the problems found in the first movie, like the acting and the corny musical numbers that don't progress the plot of the movie in any way. And the songs in this movie actually felt longer. We had to wait five and a half minutes for the first song to end and actually begin the movie. I was also not impressed with how the conflict between Brady and Mac kicked off. It was way too early. Although what might be the biggest problem with this movie is just how confusing it is. I mentioned in my review of the first movie that the main plot was hard to understand. And well, it's not any easier here. So apparently in this movie, the universe where the Wet Side Story movie takes place is now some sort of fantasy alternate world which I guess was created when Mac and Brady went there thanks to a magical surfboard which we don't even know how it happened and apparently everyone from the wet side story remembers Mac and Brady despite their story repeating itself over and over again also apparently they can travel to our world by holding to a necklace that was given to Mac which I guess is also magical wait what what but, you know, I still haven't swallowed the fact that Mag and Brady were capable of entering a universe of a movie and now the characters of the movie are capable of entering in our world? How are they even capable of doing that? How come they have free will? They are fictional characters from a movie. Also, at the end of the movie, it was revealed that the characters from Wet Side Story can alter their outcome in the movie and that if something different happens to the movie, like changing the outcome or not existing at all, it might drastically change the real world. Okay, first of all, if that's the case, then why didn't anything happen after the first movie? Mac and Brady brought change into the movie and the characters from Wet Side Story still remembers them. So why didn't anything change after that? Also, at what exact point did Lila change the outcome of Wet Side Story to the point of changing how Brady and Mac met? Are we really just supposed to swallow the fact that Layla did something different to the point of changing a lot about the real world and that whatever Brady and Mac did in the first movie was not enough to cause anything? Also if Layla changed the timeline of the real world, then how come she still has memories of Mac and Brady? If they didn't meet, then they didn't get the chance to travel to the Wet Side Stories universe, ergo everything that happened in both these movies didn't happen. Why couldn't they just end the movie with a normal ending? As final thoughts, I'll probably never watch this movie again, it's too cheesy for me. However, I still think it was better than the first movie and if you liked the first movie, you'll most likely enjoy this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye for now.